And you said it just, I can't, I can't finish it. It's just so yeah. painful. That's so, yeah, that's, that's a great, a great question. Yeah, anybody? Yeah. Of course, I abandon all my things. I never finish anything, to be honest with you. I don't finish paintings because I consider. Actually, that's the best because once you, you complete it, you overwork it, you killed it, it's dead. You know, it's, it's the end of the story. The paintings are a moment in time. You know, you get this power, this energy, all of a sudden you're going crazy, you're working on it. And then you say, you know what, that's it for me. That's why I work on 650 paintings at the time. I'm spoiled, I got paintings all over the place I'm working on. And, and you know, like I'm the, I'm the biggest kid in the world. I sometimes feel very uh, and never lose that guilty for what I feel, for my skills. Sometimes I don't feel, you know, I'm not coming to my studio and I feel like, you know, I'm a little kid running around the day goes by like this, and I feel like, you know, I'm a kind of a little odd. You know, I, I sometimes feel, you know, maybe I'm just, but I know I, how hard I, I work to do this, so. You're so humble, Peter, for everything yeah, well, you've done. You're so humble. You're so inspirational. Even that, like, I feel inspired. Yeah. Just yeah, you know what, I, just knowing you briefly here, I, I know how much, uh, just a few of the words that we talked earlier before, uh, how, how perceptive and, and how aware you are, and that's a very beautiful gift. And, you know, like, to be aware, of, of things, you know, we can, if we all do things from our heart, we can really make a, a huge change. I, I think you're an amazing example for kids who perhaps are struggling to do something um, that perhaps they're not being supported to do. Follow your dreams, because as we talked about before, they yeah. never die. It doesn't matter if you're 20, 30, 40, or 50. Right? Yeah, exactly. They never die. You know, I have a lot, exactly, your dreams never die. But I have a lot of kids now that through Instagram, through social media, that ask me questions. And sometimes I don't have, you know, I can't answer to everybody. And, you know, you can get caught in that. But if I, I, I say quickly to somebody, okay, listen, you know, what am I doing right? Why are galleries looking at me? Who cares about galleries? Just do what you want to do, people will find you. So I try to say, look, there's no secret potion that you go to the paint store, what kind of paint are you using, what kind of canvas? Are you? There's nothing, just paint. Work. It's not easy. Or oh, maybe one day when I'm older, I have a studio to work here. Not necessarily. Age doesn't give you the right to have a studio. You need to work, and that's what a lot of uh, young people I try to tell them is: just work. Um, you're making yourself happy. If you make yourself happy, you're gonna make people happy. We're gonna see beautiful products from yeah. that. So since you had such a big lifestyle change and you became such a successful artist, and you told me earlier that you don't really like to travel, what you do? Yeah. How, tell me about lifestyle and eating habits. Well, I'm not really a picky eater. Yeah. Except when maybe it came to Korean food. Uh, yeah. It took me a while to kind of get used to that, but now You're used to I that. eat a lot of Korean food yeah. because of my wife. But, but my eating habits are, uh, you know, uh, I think they're okay, but uh, I grew up with com comfort food. Like, like I love well, street food? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I love bread. I can eat a French stick easily. My wife does not. They don't eat bread. Korean okay. don't really eat bread. So that was a little bit of a difficult thing. But now I'm kind of realizing to kind of stay away from it. Even though I do it secretly, I eat bread. I can eat a loaf of bread with the you know very quickly. I love bread. I love to have a salad, Greek salad with the tomato with the French steak. So uh, my diet would be a little bit primitive, like a village type. It's more Mediterranean. Yeah, right? but it's comfort food. Like, I love Italian food. Who doesn't? They're great uh, dishes. I mean, any kind of food. Any of you have a favorite dish? Uh, you know what? My dishes, uh, you know, I have to say, fasolata, bean soup. We have that in common. Yeah, I love my mom's, but it's got to be my mom's because you have exactly. to boil the beans exactly. really well. Exactly. Right? They, uh, for a couple nights, and, yes. and you know what the thing is, uh, uh, you know the bean soup. I remember, remember coming home, and uh, I would see it there. And my mother would make it. I'd, I'd smell it. And we'd have maybe two, three plates to the point where you know I couldn't stop eating it. You know, it was just <laughs> comfort food. It yeah. made me feel good, and uh, you know it was a simple. Something. Like, look, having fasolada for comfort food is not bad. You're not going yeah. into hamburgers and fries. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Actually, I think there's an interesting correlation between working and food. Okay, I'm not going to talk about myself, but I want to hear from you. Do you paint on an empty stomach 
can you work after you eat, or do you have to be of clear mind, body, and soul? Because I've spoken to different artists about this. How do they do that? 